Why this technology is well adapted to the situation we find here in Bergen-Belsen? Die Gedenkstätte heute the memorial today is an empty space. There are no barracks or any other remnants of the camp. But when you see this reconstruction and when you walk around with this, it's a useful aid to get a feeling for the place. Um ein Gefühl für diesen Ort zu bekommen. Today, this area looks like an ordinary German forest. But during World War II, around 70,000 people died here at the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. This class of students visiting the site are provided with tablets that accurately show the camp's original structure, which was totally destroyed after the war. I learned a lot today. Everything that happened here is horrific. You can see everything, mass graves, the children's cemetery and the crematorium where people were burned. It's horrific and frightening. I learned a lot today. This tablet and the app that goes with it motivates the pupils much more than a traditional lecture. It pulls them in. It's not exact, but... There, you can see the... It's very difficult to understand the history of this place. It's beyond our comprehension. So any tool that can provide emotional access is an additional help. The app was developed by scientists from a European research project aimed at combining virtual and augmented reality big data and memory bits to provide visitors to the camp with the right historical context to learn about what happened there in an interactive way. What is this model around us? We have built an educational paradigm for historical learning that is completely grounded in being active. And so space is not only an anchor of our history. It's also a medium that helps us to really boost memory and experience, and that's what we need to achieve, because we must be able to tell that story to future generations and shape their experience based on historical information. The platform combines maps, geolocated 3D models of the camp at different points in history, virtual and augmented reality views, contextual documents, and historical records. The next step is to really make it part of the whole education program, to really embed it as a, just one of the tools, not replace anything, but actually make it one of the tools um, that the memorial has to show the past. Scientists say they're now looking for ways to make the system even more tailored and personalized for visitors. Man can you can specifically choose what you want to see, what you're interested in. The next step, researchers believe, is to provide an even more accurate, completely immersive topographical overview of the historical site. Yeah, yeah, da hinten, ganz hinten. 